Hello, everybody. Today we are going to be learning about sequencing words. Do you, does anybody know what a sequence word is? Celestia. Tells the order. Tells the order of a story, or like, what's another example? When would you use sequence words? For next. When you're making a recipe. Yeah, if you're making yeah. a recipe, like cookies. What do you do first? You mix the ingredients. You mix all the ingredients together, and then you bake you it. Ask your, unless you're stir frying. Stir frying? You don't bake if you're stir frying. Okay, you're not stir frying. You're baking. All right. So, can anybody list off some sequencing words? First. First. Next. First is a good one. Next. Second. Last. A little bit slower. Then. Next. Then. Not therefore. Second. <laughs> Second. Last. Last is a good one. What about? Is Second there, is to there, last. Second to last, we'll just add parentheses to last. Are there any words that you can think of as if you're looking backwards that would be a sequencing word? Last week. Last is already up there. Not quite. Before. <laughs> like, before? During. Well, there's during. So that's not looking back. What about, <laughs> like, <laughs> previously? Previously. Previously, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Teacher, I think you forgot your dot on your eye. Thank you, Celestia. You're such a good student. <laughs> okay, so today I'm going to read Where the Wild Things Are. I know it's for younger kids. Come on, sit down. But as I'm reading the story, just think about the sequence of the story, and we'll have an activity afterwards. Okay, so Where the Wild Things Are, by Maurice <clears throat> Simpson. Okay, so the knight Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another. His mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. Oh, oh man, was. that would stink. That very night, in Max's room, a forest grew, and grew, and grew, until his ceiling hung with vines, and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through the night and day. And in and out of, and in and out of weeks, and almost over a year, to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still, and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all and made him king of all the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. And they danced. And danced. They were not dancing. And danced. Okay. It was kind of dancing. They're swinging. You think they're swinging? Because they're swinging in that one. You know what a swinging is. <laughs> now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all the wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But when the wild things cried, oh, please don't go, we'll eat you up, we love you so, and Max said no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled, rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye and s sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. No way. Okay, so thinking about the sequencing words that we just talked about, we are going to make a reading log. And I have an example. So I made a cover, and then I have some wonderful art. So you're just going to tell the story like I used first, then, after, eventually, and then finally. So you guys have reading logs right in front of you, and this is going to help you with your comprehension so you remember the story, and you can tell the sequence through the words you use. So you guys can use any color, 
and decorate. We're only going to do this for about five minutes. No fighting over the over the pencils. <laughs> I would recommend using one at a time, but do your thing. Do you taxes? What? Oh, speech. <laughs> so decorate the cover, and then just tell the story using some sequencing words, and then you can draw some pictures if you have some time. Decorate the cover. Now you can tell the story. So when you're telling the story, I think we got some words listed up here. You can use some of those to help you so that you know the order of the story. Are you done, Matt? I'm done. The end. Let's look through it. Good job. You want to draw some pictures? No. No? Okay. That's okay. Actually, I want to be done with this one. Hey, no fighting. Okay, I'm done. Is everybody finished? Yep. No. Are we still like... waiting on Celestia? Yeah. Okay. Can you read my last? Yeah. No, I'm actually going to have you share yours. Oh, that's cool. Oh, dang it. <laughs> so, we're going to have Celestia read hers, and maybe if we have time left, then we'll have other people share theirs. Uh, okay. Yours. What if she can't read? I can't read. You can't read. Matt, would you like to help her out? And yeah. For her? Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> First was Max was bad and didn't get dinner. Next, he went to an island where they fed him. <laughs> then he was full, so the <laughs> monsters were going to eat him. Finally, he went home because he didn't want to die. You read the book about cannibalism? <laughs> I did it. That okay, wasn't, mine well, I wasn't quite what the story mine, was about, but that, that, those were good sequence words. Yeah. What were some of the words that she used that were Then, first. Words? Then, first. Lastly. Finally. Yeah. Or finally. Okay. Ashlyn, would you like to share yours? No. I'm telling you. I'll read Ashlyn's. <laughs> okay. I thought you could read. She can now. She can now. First, the boy got supper. He didn't get supper. Let go to the next page! <laughs> then he didn't get supper. <laughs> Therefore, set a sequence word. He went to his room. And second, the 
last, <laughs> dance or not with <laughs> beats. And lastly, he got supper. Okay, like those a, are good. Okay, okay. Matt, <laughs> Matt, would you like to read yours? Ashlyn, actually, would you like to read Matt's? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Where the wild things are. First, Max was get, acting crazy. Then he did not get dinner. Next, he ran away. I think maybe you're being right. Next, he ran away to a far. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Next, he ran away to a faraway land. Then became a king of the wild things. The end. Well, I see we could all work on our comprehension skills, but I think we did a really good job of sequence words. So let's review what are sequence words. What do they help us do? Put things in order. Put things in order. So we were able to tell the story even mm -hmm. though sequence of events. We all kind of had a different comprehension point of the story. They didn't get eaten by cannibals. I'm sorry. But he ended up getting. He supper. didn't get. He went home. He did at the but end. But then he what? got but, supper. Okay, so we we need to work on comprehension, but our sequence words were were really good. So sequence words help us tell the order of things, and some examples are first, next, then. Therefore, second to no. last. Okay, so thank you guys for participating. And we'll see. How you many next points time. did I get? Yeah. Did you?